Hi, I'm Matty, and welcome to another episode of our Archive Dive. This week we are going to talk about the 60s. Um, and in terms of the 60s, uh, there was such a huge, huge shift from the beginning of the decade to the middle of the decade and to the end of the decade uh, that there is so much to see and talk about in terms of fashion changes. Um, if we think about the beginning of the decade, uh, we were still coming out of the 50s, um, we were still wearing kind of like quite sweet uh, kind of stage dresses like this, really pretty, um, kind of similar to things that Brigitte Bardot might wear. Uh, little strappy things and um, as we kind of kind of come out of the late 50s early 60s we start to lose that shape um, of this kind of big voluminous um, skirts and uh, we start to see something uh, a little bit more fitted so especially in evening wear we see this kind of uh, <coughs> this move towards the sheath dress so this one and this one in particular um, a really really beautiful example this silk is gorgeous gorgeous but um, yeah, you can see these all these gorgeous. Um, you can see that it's just got a little bit more fitted. There's a lot. There's a less um, fabric in the skirt. Um, still got some really beautiful. Doesn't mean that just because we've got less fabric in the skirt doesn't mean that we can't still have beautiful details. So we've still got this gorgeous little swatch at the back, uh, which is quite big in a lot of 60s dresses. You'll see it in a lot of evening wear, um, all the way down to the floor. So the 60s evening wear was really beautiful. We haven't got a huge amount of. Uh, those dresses sadly with us, but there's a couple just at the end that we're going to treat to. Um, but yeah, cocktail dresses in the 60s especially. Um, people really, really wanted to show off um, as wives. Um, they wanted to kind of, all their husbands wanted to impress everybody else's husbands. Um, so they were quite happy to spend quite a lot of money on their wives. Um, and they wanted to be the uh, centre of the party. Um, so we've got, we kind of come out of that again, kind of early 60s again. I've still got these like, We've come into this like really nice, pretty, um, but very, very slim shape. Um, and this one as well, which is really gorgeous. Really love that. And then we've kind of still got these kind of like shirt waisted dresses. So you know, again, we'll talk about this diamond sleeves. This is kind of like an early 60s thing. We've still got a little bit of length in there. There's a little bit less fabric through here. Um, and then, as the decade turns, we start to see this really amazing influence of youth. So for the first time, people had so much more money, especially teenagers, had this kind of expendable income that they never really had before. Um, and what that meant was it, it kind of, it evolved into um, a number of designers that were really producing things for youth. So having gone from the pastels uh, and the really sweet tones of the 50s, we start going into really, really wild colours, quite often geometrics. So uh, what's great about all these dresses is the fact that we see some of these kind of geometric prints of the 20s. So there's a really big heart back to the 20s in, in the mid 60s. Um, we can see was no waste again. Um, we start to see this kind of kind of A-line shape, um, and again, it kind of almost looks like uh, you can really see. Um, in fact, if I do, there's one here. So you can kind of see how similar they are. But what was really great and fun about the '60s was that. We had all these amazing new fabrics, um, and along with the fabrics meant real colour fast um, designs and images and prints. So <coughs> we see this real, when we talk about geometry in the 20s, we see that again in ultra bold colours. So there's like lots of primary colours. Um, again, you can really see that 20s influence um, through these dresses. Super, super short as well in a, in a lot of cases. We don't have any super short ones at the moment, but um, the mini and the micro mini was really, really popular with like Mary Kwan. Um, uh, she kind of like brought that over to the UK. Again, that's probably a little bit late, so it's like that one away. <laughs> um, uh, one of the really big designers at the time was Pucci, and thankfully we've got a really beautiful Pucci jacket, Emilio Pucci there. Um, from Florence, Italy. And this jacket is just absolutely beautiful. We start to see kind of like, as we get into the light end of the decade, we start to see these psychedelics um, and these amazing prints. 
Uh, you'll see that another really great designer like that was a guy called Peter Max. So you should check him out. Um, he was alongside Pucci at the time. Um, so we're very grateful to have this. Um, and it is a really, really stunning piece. Again, you see those really it kind of culturally, you got to think we had kind of op art and pop art and Bridget Riley making these incredible eye popping designs, um, which you can really see in things like this. So that one's pretty short, really cute at the bottom. But again, kind of really shapeless um, in terms of uh, in terms of cut and fit. But these phenomenal kind of like op art um, designs across uh, across these fantastic prints. Got this one as well, which I really love. Uh, again, we can see these like really big wide collars uh, from the twenties. This is really cute. Just such a great mad little print. Um, and these ones, yeah, that one looks absolutely crazy. The print in that is amazing. Just these phenomenal, super bright eye, eye-watering colours. Uh, almost, almost neon in that pink. It's gorgeous. Uh, and then, then kind of as the as the decade progressed, we saw. Um, we saw space travel, so for, for the first time kind of we'd gone into space, America and Russia were going to do a space race, America had gone in, so there's this huge kind of um, technological breakthroughs in terms of fabrics and polyesters and nylons uh, and colour fast. Um, definitely check out, um, I think it was 1968, um, have a look at Paco Rabanne's collection from that year. Um, and also an amazing guy who gets massively overlooked is a guy called Koresh. Um, and his, you look at um, his patterns as well and his designs, super, super space age. So you have this enormous, like, in terms of not just culturally and science, um, but also in film as well, kind of like Space 2001. Um, and all this, so <clears throat> kind of like, it was across film and music. Um, you had this huge, huge shift um, towards space. So check that out. Um, also, one of my favourite things is uh, Lurex. I have a really big thing for Lurex. So this is great. What I love about this is that it's so symptomatic of a dress of the late 60s. So we've got uh, this incredible kind of like geometric, op art, kind of like eye bending thing with Lurex. And again, we've got like, it's pretty short. Um, and yeah, we've got that again, we've got that amazing A line um, shape. As I was saying, the 60s did provide some pretty special evening wear, and what I really love is this. So, if you kind of think back to some of the 20s stuff that we had that was like super heavily beaded, we've got that with these incredible geometrics. Again, the amount of work in this dress would have been phenomenal. Uh, all this beading is all a single thread which you might not be able to see. No, because it's all been stitched under that lining. Um, but yeah, really, really gorgeous. Uh, there was a lot of beadwork work in the 60s, um, especially in things like this. Again, we'd said, you know, it's not always, I mean, this one's pretty short, but you would also see these down at the ground, as we'll see next. But really, really fun, um, really, really gorgeous detailing. Um, and this one's a particular favorite of mine. Um, this huge, huge dress with these gorgeous details. It's amazing, new X. Um, and again, floor length. So it wasn't always, you know, we sometimes we think of the 60s as like super mini, but it wasn't. Um, you know, we still had longer styles. Um, uh, and these, this fantastic roll collar uh, was really lovely. So as we <coughs> kind of start to leave, kind of like all the space age stuff, we start to go into an amazing um, era of um, social change, uh, cultural change. And as we kind of reach 68, 69, 70, we start to see the introduction of kind of like the hippie look. Um, and you, and it's very, what's really interesting is that you can see a really definitive color shift um, from these super bright pop colors uh, and everything goes a little bit earthier and a little bit more orange and brown. And we can start to see that here. <coughs> Um, and this is a late 60s one, um, really gorgeous. Again, kind of like almost, almost a Grecian shape. So we start to get these kind of Grecian, um, these Grecian shapes 
how many threes is probably about 69 this would be on the cusp um but really incredible still pop colors um but again you can just about see the color shift um towards uh kind of earthier tones uh, and that will lead us nicely into the 70s 